Hi everyone, I just wanted to come on. It's early in the morning, hence the appearance, but I wanted to make sure I got this reading out to you because I feel like this is a very special full moon. We've had a lot of very tense energies and while we're not out of the woods completely yet, I do think that we are starting to see some positive elements come in that will help us on a personal level shift even though maybe on the collective level, there may be a lot of things that we still need to continue to work through. And I will get more into that a little bit later. The reason why I do these readings is not for me to tell you this because astrology is trending and full moon is trending. So let's pull out our crystals and let's charge them and etc. No, if you are here listening to me, then you need to know that the reason why I do this for myself, for you, for my clients is because I want you to be able to live the best life possible. Life doesn't have to be as hard as we make it. You can have an easy life. You can live an aligned life. And there's lots of tools available to help you do that. And one of the tools you can use is astrology. To have so much information at your fingertips, at your disposal, gives you so much power because you now have a lot of information upon which you can intentionally respond to and intentionally align to and make your manifestations, make your desires, make your life purpose more powerful when you're not working at cross purposes with energy, but you understand it and you learn how to align with it and capitalize on that. So if you are here and you are listening to my astrology predictions, then this is the reason why I do them. So a lot of them are very self-focused. They are pulling you to become a better person, to evolve, to grow, because that's my mission. That's why I'm here for you. I want to teach you how intuition is needed intellect is needed and when you put those two together that's when you are continuously becoming better and better and better and life becomes easier and easier and easier so let's get into it first thing i want to talk about is the actual full moon meaning the moon opposite the sun and there is a lot of tension coming up around feelings of value or personal self-worth while also trying to check that against wealth Um, power and it's like the wealth and the power that relationships can bring I feel like this particular time period could feel very very lonely if you haven't rectified your personal feelings of self-worth self-value your place out in the world and just feeling like you have something to contribute not only to the world as a whole but to relationships as well So I feel like if any of those feelings do crop up, they have less to do with your partner and more to do with the work that you need to continue to do in order to feel better about yourself, to feel secure about yourself, to feel like you are worth something, to feel like you are of value. And a lot of times when we aren't living very consciously, what happens is we take those feelings and we go to our partner wanting them to help fuel what we are lacking inside and either they don't give it to us because they're our lesson and that makes that creates more tension within your relationship or something else happens and at the end of the day you find out that the only way that you can create that solid sense of security and self-worth and self-love is by doing it for yourself only then can you bring that bring yourself into a healthy relationship and if you're with a partner that is living the same way then you're going to notice that tension in them as well because the messages that i'm giving to you for yourself not only apply to you they apply to me they apply to your partner etc so we're all going through this in some way some shape or some form Another thing that you may want to recognize is that when those feelings are cropping up, there's something very similar going on where you also need to examine where you need to become more powerful versus trying to glob onto other people to become more powerful. So for instance, we'll just make it a mundane thing because this is related to like loans, other people's money, etc. In order for you to go out and get a loan to increase your buying power your buying capacity maybe you need to work on your own finances in order to be able to be 
a qualified candidate to be able to get some of that funding that you need. So it could go like that. And now we apply that to love in order for you to have that power couple relationship. You need to become a powerful person within. And if you are not bringing that to the table, you cannot expect that you are going to have the relationship that you desire when you are showing up as less than. So these are some things that may be called into question during this full moon. The good thing about this is that the support is there if you need it. So I don't want you to think that, let's say if you are having problems struggling with finances, that if you try to go get help that you wouldn't get it. The help is available, but you may just have to muster up the courage to actually look for it or like i said to make yourself more attractive for it or just do the work to align yourself with the income stream that you need in order to help you to continue to move forward in life so it never means that you don't have access to these things it just means that you are the catalyst to how these things are going to play out and the stronger and the better that you show up for your financial situations and your relationships etc for yourself is going to be how things play out in the life that you experience for those for those of you that are in relationships if you feel disconnected from your intimate partner what could really help with this is an infusion of sensual and sexual energy because both are there and you can play with that to find that really cool happy balance that will just help you get through this especially since venus is going to be going retrograde really soon i think it's a good time to take advantage of this infusion that the Scorpio full moon is bringing into our lives. This is absolutely a time for regeneration and a time for rebirth. But in order to do that intentionally, we need to examine the energy that is available to us. So what needs to be learned and how can you further break free from the things that are holding you back so that you can align with your dreams, with your desires, with the things that you want to manifest and also show up very confidently in those situations as your unique and beautiful self. If you feel like you're lost and you feel like you don't have the information that you need in order to start to move forward, just know that at this period of time, you can trust your intuition. You can trust your gut instinct to help move you further on your journey to learning to connect with yourself and hear your voice. And if you have trouble doing that, I'm going to have a link available or you can DM me for a link. I'm going to have a I have a class that I did a while ago that I'm going to offer free for a little while about connecting to your intuition because I feel like a lot of people have been asking me about how to tap into their intuition, how to hear their inner voice, etc. I have so many resources that are free about this, but in particular, I'm going to offer this intuition video if you want to check it out. It was part of a two day masterclass that I did um, previously. We're all being called to evolve. We're all being called to heal. And the reason why is because there's more work that needs to be done on a deeper level. And there's also more information that needs to be revealed in order for us to move forward for our highest and best good and the highest and best good of all involved. There's still a lot of work to do as we are experiencing day to day, um, witnessing day to day. With this full moon, there also needs to be some compromise some give and take trying to find the middle ground between thoughts and feelings you need to watch your emotions you need to watch for manipulation you need to watch for control issues and what i would say would really help with that is some increased grounding it grounding is really going to be very important for you to be able to move forward very effectively through this energy if you don't know what grounding is or you want to know more about grounding go to my blog there is so much information about grounding there so there's some articles that can help you there next energy i want to talk about is some energy that is connected with mercury and so when i look at this energy i feel like it's going to be harder to reconcile the feelings that i've been talking about because i said that this could be a time where you're all up in your feels and why i think that it's going to be even harder to reconcile those feelings is because your mind is going to make it so much more easier to support your ego and your own perspective of things and support your feelings even if it may not be factual when it is in relation to your own personal circumstance. I also feel like we will try to find information and answers for things that we want understanding about 
outside of ourselves without understanding that a lot of the stuff that is going on right now that we can control needs to be fixed from a deeper, more inner perspective. So the issues are not out there first when you haven't examined and fixed the issues that are internal and unique to you. Whenever there's this harmony in your life, although it may not be your fault, like I say, it always behooves you to check in with yourself, to see what type of a role that you play in a situation, even if, like I said, it's not your fault. We are all participants in undesirable things that happen in our lives for the most part. And so when that happens, what is it that we did, said, allowed, who are we internally? that is connected to that situation? And is there anything that we could do differently, anything that we could grow from, any, th any way that we could evolve, et cetera? Not every situation means that it was your fault, but you do need to examine it from an inner perspective before you go out and try to examine things from an outer world perspective or what's going on in your situations and relationships, what have you. I also see that it's going to be really easy to stay in your safe zone instead of opening up to yourself and increasing the vulnerability that is needed in order for you to tap into true growth and true evolution, true regeneration, a true rebirth. In some area of your life, you're being called to stop ignoring things. Stop looking for answers outside of yourself. Stop ignoring the problems and the issues that you are feeling deep inside and start to examine them wholly and truthfully so that you can learn from them because you are being called to be a human that should be becoming more deep. And because of the situations that you are learning from, you are being called to grow more layers, if that makes sense. Stop being so surface. A lot of times being a surface human being is so much easier than really digging in deep into the weeds and being very intentional about your growth. And that is not what we're being called to do right now. Stop focusing on the outer surface. Scorpio wants to take you really deep, wants to take you down there. And if you want to be in your bubble, it's okay. But what you are going to see is that those same patterns that you continue to experience are going to just keep playing out over and over again. And you may find that with your ego, finding evidence to support your perspective and whatever it is that you want to be right, that cycle of being stuck is going to be one that you continue to experience because you are choosing to be stubborn and not show up for life as fully as you should be in order to start moving forward to something bigger and something better. Because this energy impacts other people, like I said, similarly to how it's impacting you, it's very important for you to stay in your lane. What I also feel is important is a lot of times we compromise on our circle, our tight circle that we keep around us. And I think that now more than than ever it is very important to keep integrity in the people that you keep around you and the environments that you are in as much as you can the funny thing is until you do the deep work to know who you are and to become that more deep human being and to open up the layers of who you are and be cognizant of them and also to do the things that i talked about with growing rebirth self-value and self-worth are you really going to have that tight inner circle? As I'm looking at some of the other energy from the sun, making different angles with other planets, there's something that I really like and I want to tell you about. The full moon that we just had does activate more clarity for you if you allow it. And you know what? It could come in no matter what. So I say allow it, but I guess what I mean to say is that you accept it. So the clarity is going to come in and if you accept it for what it is, then you can do with it some very positive things such as your creativity can be activated. So it's easier to write or communicate. And it's easier to do that from the depths of who you are. This is really deep energy, of course, with the Scorpio energy. But I want you to also remember that because it can dig deep into some feelings and stuff and feelings are not necessarily factual. They come from our own personal perspectives that you have to really watch out with the thinking and the communication and all of that and try to stay as objective as possible when you're coming from an intellectual perspective. On a lighter note, this is a good time to have fun with other people. I know we still are kind of shut down, but 
technology is really heightened right now so it's a good time to talk to other people and collaboration should be very fun and very positive during this time when we put venus in the mix with mercury again i have a little warning a little caveat for you to make sure that you are careful because the emotions that you are channeling may come through your communication and so you really need to pay attention to what you say and what you write because there could be a higher propensity for misunderstanding and those misunderstandings could be avoided if we just took a little bit more time and a little bit more patience also because of the rate of increased communication and thinking that could be conjoined with some very impulsive energy and it further opens up the door for any conflicts or challenges or tensions so make sure you watch out for that great patience around relations with other people is needed as well and conflicts again you're gonna have to really pull yourself out of your feelings and be as detached and objective as possible when you are confronting things that may be opposing views to what you believe it could turn out to be a very negative situation even though what the intent was was to have something positive come out of that channel your mind and your actions toward things that truly matter in your life you know like focus on the things that you want to manifest this is a very good time for just staying in your lane doing your work doing your deep work and focusing on the things that make your heart sing that make you happy and if you're in a healthy relationship fostering those relationships with siblings with parents and with your intimate partner as well i don't see children highlighted as much not saying you don't connect with your kids but i think this is like a more sexier mature adult type of energy so capitalize on that aspect of this full moon for those of you that are having some challenging issues in life and you're feeling like you don't really know <clears throat> or understand what you need to be able to move forward i'm going to challenge you because especially with this full moon coming in the the information that you need is there it's not out there it's there and so if you are really having trouble trying to figure out what you need to do to get unblocked unstuck all of those different things or you want to know why you're having issues that you may be having i'm going to push back and say the information is there you either need to look a little bit deeper and stop looking surface level stop looking outside of yourself or you need to be realistic about what it is that you see because if you were watching your life in a movie you would be able to tell immediately what the issue is but because you either don't want to see it or don't care to see it you find comfort in the fact that saying that you're confused or you don't know is going to be your saving grace when it's not the things are still going to unfold the things are still going to happen so it's up to you to show up with your eyes wide open so that you can get what you need and you start to move forward even though i don't see us being totally out of the clear as the collective with the situation that we're currently in i do see this increasing like it's like a pressure cooker need for social interaction which is ironic because when we had the social interaction we were always stuck on our phones but now we're craving it hmm. anyway it's another story and, and it doesn't have to be like you even want to talk to anybody so again that's what i find to be funny i don't find like you want to have fun and hug and touch and all that kind of stuff and talk to people we just want to be around other people for some reason maybe that gives us comfort all of us that are missing our little coffee runs or our target runs i feel you it, it may feel a little bit worse but hang in there what you could be doing during this time that would help you to kind of dissipate some of that energy is to wrap up any intense projects that you have going on, especially if you've been trying to do stuff around the house, if you've been stuck in the house, because with the beautification efforts attached to Venus, as Venus begins to, she's already in shadow, I think, and as she starts to go retrograde, it's not a good time to really start any projects like that. So just wrap things up right now and the same thing with any major beauty routines that you want to do this is not a time for starting them this is more of a time for like wrapping them up i also feel like if you take your actions and you channel it into the strategic vision that you have for the things that you want to manifest this can absolutely be a very positive time for you to do things and align with things 
just by energetically so this means you have to do something but if you are doing something that is aligned with these activities what you're going to find is that it could go very well and it could actually add value to your life so focusing on your intentions but also acting on your intentions is going to be a good way to capitalize on this energy here's a question for you what new ideas or unconventional perspectives or deeper understanding needs to be applied to capitalize on this energy. You really want to like go deep with this, ask yourself that question, answer it, and whatever comes up, do it. Saturn is still hanging out with Jupiter. It can be positive or negative. I've been talking about this for a very long time because these are slow moving planets and they've been together for a very long time. Although Saturn is now in Aquarius versus Capricorn. So it could be a time of growth, wealth, opportunity for some, and you see it already happening all around you. People really trying to take this energy and see how can they make it better? How can they bring opportunity out of a dark time and continue to push forward? But at the same time, there could be a lot of restriction, power struggles, or magnification of everything that needs to be changed still in relation to what is outdated it won't be easy because saturn is involved you have work to do it's not like you're going to go from one to ten you're going to go from one two three four you like you got to do all the steps but you can easily see right now where you are stuck or where you may be selling yourself short in life and what you're being called to is a better life for yourself changes for yourself and if you align these with your hopes and your dreams you really can have some positivity come out of this time that may not feel as positive either personally or on the collective your true manifestation of the luck of jupiter lies within you taking life by the horns and taking responsibility for your life and your actions and knowing that you just have to keep your head up and keep going because you're only going to get better from the things that you encounter the things that you experience. You get smarter from gaining the wisdom and you get to level up to get closer and closer to the life that you really want to live and the legacy that you want to create. And you do all of that through personal mastery. So that means a little bit of hard work is needed. And that also means that you becoming the example of that in which you want to manifest is going to help you get to that a little bit faster as well. Saturn is making some energy with Uranus that's been going on also for a while but there's rebellion there's uneasiness sudden change you personally can get a handle on this energy if you can adopt some routines as you move through change refresh your view of yourself refresh your view of maybe some things that are going on that have been long standing in your life and know that the resistance to move forward especially in a different way will be challenged this energy is also about the unexpected need to get outside of yourself focus bubble and think about what's best not only for yourself but what's also best for the collective <laughs> the comfort zone is not the zone that you want to be in with so much change and innovation going on if you try to do that you're either just going to get forced to go forward or you're going to be left behind which is not going to be left behind in a positive way energy that is connected to karma is also asking for change and the energy is challenging what you know to be stable to facilitate that change so again some insecurity and instability could be cropping up if it is you need to examine what the root cause of that is and work with your intuition and i think you will easily find the answers that you need to be able to move forward some positive things you have increased emotions if you are mastering those emotions you can channel all this stuff into intuition creativity um, feminine activities working with feminine energy and romance and so I would make sure that you gave yourself some extra time and some extra patience around these issues so that you could tap into things. But because of all the emotional energy available and not necessarily being able to process that clearly, also giving yourself some time and some grace. There's also increased spirituality 
increased empathy so protect yourself there's different levels of empathy so if your empathy is the empathy where you're letting other people's energy bleed into your own and you don't have control over that then you need to watch that again it's normal to feel insecure during this time especially if you wanted to see things a certain way or you thought things were a certain way and you get your little bubble deflated so also watch out for your boundaries and watch out that you are not being delusional in something that's going on in your life and see things for what's actually in front of you versus what you want to see or what you hope to see and also make sure though that if it is an intellectual thing that you are looking at to know that you may not have all the information available to you to be able to make hard and fast decisions but if it's something that's more deeper to me like a a deep subconscious gut feeling about something then you're probably right where the information gets a little more muddy is when you try to intellectually think that you understand something when you really don't have all the information available to be able to make an informed decision at this time last thing i just want to talk about some pluto energy really quickly and i think that it's really weird because i just told you to watch your perceptions and again what i mean is like the intellectual perception or surface level perception and understanding but I think that with Pluto here, you are being helped when it comes to deeper understanding, deeper connections, subconscious, hidden information, things that have to do with your intuition. All of that is just, it's on 10. So use it to your ability. Pluto is retrograde. So you need to use this because this is another opportunity for you to look at your life and examine it more closely so you can see things for what they really are and act accordingly and weed out the BS that is no longer serving you in your life. And it will also be happening on a societal level. So just when you think that we've heard everything, this is not to create fear, this is to just let you know that Pluto is doing its job to continue to uncover the things that we need to uncover as a society that is BS so that we can move forward as a collective and start healing and start moving in a different direction and free ourselves from the things that have held us back in the past. On your own personal level, just trust that tapping into fear is not going to serve you but just knowing that positive things will come into your life so don't fear the process don't let the negativity get you down don't feel distraught if there's more deeper issues that'll be surfacing in your own personal life or in society you need to continue to keep your faith strong and what i thought about when i was looking at this angle was a metaphor like think of yourself as a garden and you know before you can plant in your new garden that had been sitting overwintering you need to pull out all the weeds you need to pull out all the junk you need to get the soil right so that you can plant seeds and that they can actually grow with everything at their disposal and their potential to grow as strong and as healthy and as fruitful as they can and that's kind of where you are right now so in order to move forward and become a more enriched person and have a more healthy environment upon which you can grow the things that need to grow in your life for your highest and best good. This is gonna be about your discipline. It's gonna be about your determination and to make sure that that discipline and that determination is not only attached to your own perspective or your own ego, but it's something that is attached to your higher self. Woo, that was a lot. So let's go ahead and pull a couple cards real quick. Shout out to all my students in tarot class. You know you can pull some cards to tell you what specifically is coming into your own life with the full moon. So if you want to ask your cards, that's a good question to ask and journal about. And for those of you that are not in the class and you just want to pull your own cards, ask yourself that question. Tie it in with this reading and that could give you some more specificity about what you need to be looking out for. Our two cards are the world, I'll put them up closer, and the king of cups. Again, it's about mastery. It's about mastering your emotions. It's about stop pretending like everything is okay when underneath the surface there's a lot going on. There's a lot of things that need to be healed. There's a lot of things that need to be dealt with in order to 
move forward and master your intellect, your in order to master your intuition, your feelings, your emotions, etc. Yes, you may be not letting them get the best of you, but I feel like for some of you, you're not really integrating the things that you need to deal with. And so because of that, it may be inhibiting you from moving forward. And there may be this tendency to want to escape what's really going on by doing things that could be detrimental to your health. Um, it could be obsessions, compulsions, jealousy, drinking, alcohol, psychological issues, all of that stuff that needs to be dealt with in order for you to move forward more accordingly. But at the same time, when I see the King of Cups in the world, I feel like if you do tap into this energy and you do use it for your highest and best good, you are going to see that you experience a breakthrough where you get to close a door. Finally, you get to close a door and you get to start moving forward. And it, it may be new and it may be scary as you move forward, but it's something very different. You have learned some really deep lessons that are gonna help you to be a more whole person. Again, I feel like when I'm looking at these cards where you're gonna get the most out of this full moon is by really recognizing that the key to you moving through this successfully and really aligning with this energy that Saturn is going to connect with around your hopes and your dreams is going back and asking yourself, have you done the work? Are you connected to a vision? Are you connected with your desires? Have you been working little by little towards something that you wanna manifest? If you haven't, it's not too late. But if you have, it's not about being delusional about the process that you need to continue to do. It's about continuing to move forward little by little because again, I've talked about this beat a dead horse, you are promised some fruits of your labor by doing the work that you need to do to become who you personally are supposed to become in this next evolution of your life. And then lastly, I won't deny that because I do see a male energy here. For some of you, you may be able to close some doors on maybe a father figure. Um, you may be able to close some doors on men in your life that have emotional issues and it could be not being there emotionally or it could be overly emotional alcoholic type of issues or you can also get help from a counselor closing the door on some issues but then there's also this beautiful opportunity to open up a door for a lot of romance and a lot of love on a like higher plane that i really like seeing in this reading so that is the full moon reading full moon in scorpio may 7th really quickly if you found this interesting and it's something that you want to learn how to incorporate into your life like i said when i'm working with my clients we work through a lot of things we work through not only how you can start to dig deeper into the subconscious layer so you can start to examine the root cause of any issues that you have but then you learn how to rewrite them etc and as we move through a process that i've developed what you also learn to do is incorporate things like astrology and tarot into your life if you choose in order for you to have these tools at your disposal to help you level up these are things that if you know a little bit about you're able to use them and capitalize on them for the rest of your life and very soon i'm going to be talking about how i'm releasing some coaching slots one-on-one -on -one coaching slots it's about that time again for 12 weeks of intense coaching with me by your side with accountability teaching you all of the things so that when you leave that 12 weeks you know that your life can be easy you know that life can be fulfilling you know that you can start to level up and you know that you have what you need to carry you through good times and through bad times and you know that because i'm there kicking your butt but holding your hand and hugging you every step of the way so i'll be reopening up five slots for a private coaching 12 weeks if you already know that you want one of those slots you can just dm me and i'll send you the application so that you can apply for one of the slots otherwise i'll be probably talking more about it for the next couple of days and then i'll really formally open up the slots on monday but five slots they go fast so if you want one come and get it and I will talk to you later. Bye. Oh, you know what, guys? 
I forgot to tell you too, I'm having a book club in my Facebook group. We're gonna start reading some of the books that I found to be very integral in changing my life, especially at the beginning of my journey. I announced the book club and the first book that we would be reading last night in the Facebook group. If this is something that you're interested in, the link in my bio or yashikasintuition.com slash links will direct you to my Facebook group. And from there, you should be able to just join. I will let you in. You will know what the book is. You can get your book because in two weeks, we're about to get down and dirty on one of my favorite books that is more intellectual and more manifestation oriented. But then we're going to move into a book that's really going to get you action oriented as well. So if a book club interests you, especially if you're into spiritual components as well as personal development components, then join me in my Facebook group for the book club and like i said five slots for coaching as well i'll talk to you soon